Have you ever noticed that some law firms have no problem getting clients, but for your firm, it may be more difficult? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you the worst law firm marketing mistakes that you're probably making and how to fix them so that you can get clients with ease as well. Let's dive in. Mistake number one, not treating leads as urgent. Imagine your toilet is overflowing. You call a plumber, but you get voicemail. Are you more likely to leave a message for that plumber or are you gonna hang up and call the next plumber on the list? You're more than likely gonna hang up, right? Now imagine you're somebody who's just been arrested or involved in a car accident or served divorce papers. Everybody's problem is an emergency to them and they need help now. If your firm doesn't answer the phone promptly, they'll hang up and they'll call your competitor. In fact, there's a statistic that 50% of leads will hire the first vendor they speak to. So just by being first, you're more likely to get clients. And for this reason, it's essential to have a system where a live person answers the calls 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is your one chance to convert that lead into a client. Mistake number two, not getting enough reviews. Reviews prove that you can get the result for the client that they're looking for, and people trust reviews almost as much as they trust recommendations from friends and family members. Think about when you try a restaurant in a town that you're not familiar with, or you buy something from Amazon. Do you rely on the reviews? Well, if you're like most people, you do. Potential clients rely heavily on them when choosing a law firm. In fact, Bizarre Voice Network found that once a business gets 200 reviews, its revenue will increase by 44%, and this includes law firms. When a client searches for a lawyer like you on Google and they see several law firms, they have no idea who to pick. So what do they do? They call the law firm with the highest number of reviews. And for this reason, it's essential that you have more reviews than your competition. Reviews are so powerful that I wrote an entire book called Five Star Attorney on the subject of getting reviews and using reviews to make more money for your law firm. I've been helping law firms grow since 2012. And in that time, I have literally never seen a law firm get a ton of reviews and not make more money. Reviews equal money 100% of the time. Mistake number three, believing prospects when they say they have no money. It's easy to believe prospects when they say they can't afford your services and only want free advice. But remember, people will find money for what they value. And if you don't believe me, go to Best Buy on Black Friday and look at all the people buying crap they don't need with money they don't have. It's your job to show them why they can't afford not to hire you. Position your services as a necessity, not a luxury. The key is assessing their unique situation and explaining the potential long-term costs of not hiring a skilled attorney. Someone found guilty of a DUI could lose their job, their reputation, and if they have one, their professional license. These things will cost them far more than your fees. With the wrong representation, a father could end up paying tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars more in child support than he owes. Conversely, a mother could miss out on all that money that she's owed with the wrong representation. We once worked with a lawyer who helped nurses protect their licenses from revocation by the licensing board. He charged $4,000 for his service and nobody wanted to pay it. That is until we demonstrated how losing a nursing license will cost the nurse as much as $400,000 over the course of her career and lost wages. When framed that way, she couldn't afford not to pay the $4,000. People will pay for results when the value of those results far exceeds the cost of getting them. When the value is this and the price is this, they always buy. As an attorney, it's your job to demonstrate the value of your results and the cost of not hiring you. And when you do this, people will find the money. They have credit cards, they have loans, they have family members who can give them money. Another great option is PayPal credit because it allows them six months of no payments and no interest, but you get paid immediately. The most important thing is showing them not just the cost of hiring you, but the cost of not hiring you. Mistake number four, not following up after consultations. The fortune is in the follow-up. Follow-up is one of the easiest ways to make more money and get more clients. If a potential client comes in for a consultation but doesn't hire you immediately, reach out the next day. A simple text message like, thanks for sharing your story with me. I was thinking about your case and here's some more information that might help. A text like that can make all the difference. Provide additional value and prove you can help them by actually helping them. This allows you to reach back out but not seem desperate, which is the last thing you want. Lastly, avoid using the F word. Never say I'm just following up. Always reach out and provide additional value. If you avoid these common mistakes, you will save thousands of dollars and attract way more clients than you're currently getting. Can you think of a mistake that I missed? If so, let me know in the comments below. I'll talk to you soon.